Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for August 25th. This reading is not time specific and it's not sign specific, so it may or may not be for you. This is just a message for somebody. There's thousands of people that watch it, so just take what resonates and leave the rest. Bits and pieces may be for you, bits and pieces may not be. The whole reading might be for you, or it might not be for you at all. Whatever it is, it is, right? So, what do we got for the 25th? What do we have for the 25th? <laughs> You know, I, I, you know, I feel like it's positive, whatever we got, some sort of change, uh, you know, there's a change in the, change in the air, okay, there's a change in the air of some sort, something is, is happening that is changing somebody's direction for the better, okay, um, and it's funny, I just saw swords, swords is air, that makes complete sense, swords, okay, so that is air. So yeah, there's a change in the air. Um, forward movement. All right. Um, somebody's heading in the right direction. It's like they made some sort of, they're allowing. It's like they're, they're, they're making some sort of step. It's like they're not hindering. It's like it's time for a change, right? It's time. It's like somebody's taking back control because the reason I say this is I saw the Wheel of Fortune. That was the first card I saw. And I saw it before I even started talking, but I didn't want to say it because, you know, you get some people, oh, you just said that on purpose. Oh, no, that's your stupidity. Anyhow, um, no, I didn't say that on purpose. So then um, I saw the, the chariot soon after, and the chariot is heading in the right direction. Makes sense. In between that, I saw the swords. In between the Wheel of Fortune and the chariot, I saw the swords. So what do we got? What do we got for the 25th? Somebody's moving forward. They're headed in the right direction, and it's a positive change. Um, Queen of Cups. Uh, somebody's following their heart. Uh, taking care of themselves. It's like their heart is leading the way. So somebody is following their heart. We have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here. But this could be anybody who whose heart is leading them, right? This person has a really big heart and follows their heart. So somebody is following their heart in a new direction. It's a, it's, 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 it's like they're being guided intuitively, intuitively guided to just go in this direction. Ooh, there's your, there's your air. So we got water and air. Hmm. Now this person is very independent. This is a very independent individual who makes a decision. She sticks to it. This person sticks to it. She's very de decisive. New perception. New perspective. So I feel like somebody has gotten some sort of, you know, awakening. It's like this person is now seeing a situation clearly. So somebody may have had some sort of dream or may have had some sort of new idea or an epiphany or something that actually moves them forward. It's like, I see the truth. Now, this person may be seeing the truth about another person being involved. Okay, we have two different people here. So somebody has made a decision, it looks as though, that there's no growth, there's nothing to hold on to. No energy, no desire, no desire to even engage in this anymore. Somebody is giving up on something that they were once passionate about. Yeah, they've made the decision. The Seven of Cups, they've made the decision. Somebody has made a decision. It's like, 
it's like they've gotten some sort of epiphany. It's like the, like they've received some sort of message. Could be through a dream. Could be through intuition. Could be from another person. If it's like somebody has received some sort of message that has given them what they need to make some sort of decisions. Like the, the Seven of Cups reverse is a decision has been made. This person is can tend to live in fantasy. This is no more fantasy. And this is uh, very logical. So it looks to me as somebody is deciding to get very logical here. This is heart versus mind as well. Somebody is making a um, head over heart decision. Head, head over heart decision. And it feels as though, I mean... They are being intuitively guided. <laughs> now they may be, I'm not sure if they're following their heart or their mind at this point. But the decision is being made to give up. This is giving up. The Ace of Wands reversed. There's no passion there. There's no desire. There's no more attraction. So, absolutely, this is a dead end. Somebody has come to the realization that there's no moving forward. Somebody may have been dealing with a, somebody that had a wandering eye, that didn't follow through, that didn't complete things, that, you know, was immature. Somebody that did, wasn't offering anything solid, any stable. This person couldn't follow through at all with anything lazy. Somebody's been blocking. This is a blockage. They've been blocking something. We're we'll getting another card here. Happiness. <laughs> Somebody's been blocking their own happiness. <laughs> Holding on to something that isn't solid, isn't stable, isn't secure. It's like now they wake up. Somebody has made a decision that happiness is bigger than this. It's bigger than this insecure situation where there's no growth, where it's not going anywhere. It's dead. It's a dead end. It is dead. There's no more fire. There's no more flame. It's, there's no more attraction. There isn't. So somebody has made a decision that happiness is someplace else, right? It's time for a rebirth. It's time for a renewal. It's time for me to love myself, okay? This is self-love as well. Leaving the emotional disappointment behind. Somebody has made a decision to leave it behind. I'm leaving it. I'm leaving it behind. Saying goodbye. Goodbye. See ya. Adios. Somebody hasn't been focused. They haven't been concentrating. They've been reluctant to start over. Because their heart may have wanted some sort of reconciliation. The heart might, may have wanted. Their heart was probably broken. But it's like now they see the clarity. They receive the clarity. There's no more fantasy. There's no more illusion it's like they've seen the light, right? This is the sun. That is a big, bright light, right? It's a... Hmm. Goodbye. I'm going towards... Ha Somebody is looking at happiness. Looking at finding happiness. So we got somebody here that is ready to... Seriously. Goodbye. Goodbye. We got happiness on both both sides. So saying goodbye leads to happiness. It does. It leads to a new commitment. It leads to a new door opening. This is a new doorway opening. So I feel like we have somebody that is saying goodbye to sadness and looking at a new opportunity for happiness. It's like they're ready to build a new foundation. Fours are foundations, right? Ooh, the Hierophant going into something with blind faith. 
even though there's a lack of faith, there's probably a lack of trust, right? It's like somebody is deciding to leave behind the pain and look for another commitment, look for another opportunity for happiness, go into it with blind faith. It's like they realize that that previous commitment isn't going anywhere. It's a dead end. Two of Cups. Somebody has made a decision about a partnership. Removing that, maybe this is removing an obstacle. They're not going to confine myself. I'm not going to confine myself. I'm not going to stay stuck in this prison, this mental prison. This is healing. Enlightenment. Somebody has received the clarity. Seriously, seriously, somebody has received the clarity that they need about a partnership. That was a dead end. And they're removing this obstacle that has kept them trapped and stuck and in denial for so long. It's like they're breaking, the, breaking free. They're breaking free from this chain. They're breaking free from this mental illusion. Okay? Queen of Pentacles. This is... This is uh, Stability, finding, getting stable, being grounded, getting real. Holding on. I, ha I have what I need. I'm stable. I'm solid. I'm secure. I'm worthy. So it feels to me as though we have somebody here that is... It's basically has gained some sort of self-worth, self-value. She knows her value. She's holding on to her value and her worth. She's got a big opportunity in her hand. She's She's got something solid. She's got something stable. This is something that you can take to the bank. This person is very devoted. This person is very loyal. This person is very hardworking. She has something big to offer, and she knows it. And she's not just going to give it away to anybody. Moment of decision. So the, somebody is making a decision, absolutely, or they have made the decision to remove a barrier that has hindered them. It has blocked them from happiness. It has blocked them. It was a previous commitment. Somebody has been holding on to an illusion of a previous commitment, and now they've made some sort of, they've received some sort of clarity that is allowing them to remove that barrier. It's like they're, they're, they're about to make the decision that is going to lead them towards happiness. This is the crossroads. It is the moment of decision about a partnership. This person, she knows her value. She has something big to offer and she knows it. I feel like this somebody has realized that the person that said goodbye is in another relationship, even though they're not really committed. Yeah, they may be in another relationship, but they're not really committed. They're not, you know, they're not. Dealing with a player. This is one of my player cards right here, the Page of Pentacles, reversed. It is a player. Feel free to look it up. Page of Pentacles, reversed. Somebody has came to the gotten the clarity, they've came to the realization that they were dealing with the player and that player has left them behind to head into some sort of fake ass commitment. And you know, we got this person that is still holding on to their value. They've seen the light. They're making a decision that now they're going to go look for a commitment. They're going to get engaged. They're going to start putting themselves out there. Perhaps. Oh my God. Look at the twos. Two, two, two. Decision has been made. Seeing the truth, accepting the truth. 
No more avoiding it. Coming out of denial. Somebody is coming out of denial. Congratulations. Congratulations. Now twos are about uh, balance. Finding balance. They're about choices. It's about faith and trust. It's about decision decisions that need to be made when you see two, two, two. Decisions about a partnership. Somebody is absolutely making a decision. It's like they're seeing the truth. The blindfold is coming off. It's like, it's off. It's off. I, I see the truth. I see the truth. Somebody was holding on to something that their heart was in love with. That's what this is. And now they're deciding to get real. They're deciding to get practical. And they're starting to see the truth as it really is. And I feel like they're they're making a decision to find happiness someplace else. A decision is absolutely being made. An obstacle is being removed. Somebody has been blocking any new partnership from coming in by letting their heart stay stuck on somebody that got in a commitment with somebody else by the looks of things. I feel like there was a relationship that went south and somebody has been reluctant to start over with anybody new partnership, but now it's like they've become enlightened. It's time, it's time, it's time. It's time for me to extend what I have to offer someplace else. So I feel like we have somebody here that is saying goodbye to an old commitment. They have made a decision. Somebody could be making a decision even now to get a divorce. Okay? To focus on something that is bigger and brighter and happier. There's a huge opportunity for happiness here. There is. But this comes after somebody makes that decision to get real. So I feel like somebody is getting practical on this day and they are making a decision seriously to go down a new path after they have been reluctant to do so. And I think that once they make that decision, there is like this new door that opens. I do feel that way. Do I think there's communication going back and forth today? Uh, as far as if you're single and you're thinking somebody's going to, you know, text you and sweep you off your feet, I don't see that at all. Today is a day of choices, decisions, planning, saying goodbye to the past, removing barriers and blockages. So that you can be happy in the future. And that is what I see. I feel like today is a day of acceptance. Good luck.